IVIS-123. Gain critical insight to simple as 123. After the initial IVIS run, the pre-PCI workflow helps you assess the lesion length, plaque morphology, and vessel diameter in any order. Lesion length. Define the appropriate landing zones and determine the lesion length. Plaque morphology. Study plaque morphology, lipidic, fibrotic, or calcific, to select the right modification strategy. Vessel diameter. Measure the vessel diameter at both the distal and proximal reference for proper stent sizing. Post-stent workflow. After the final IVIS run, the post-stent workflow helps you evaluate the stent edges, stent apposition, and stent expansion in any order. Stent edges. Geographical miss. See if the stent missed the lesion and check if the stent caused any edge dissection. Stent apposition. Ensure no malapposition along the entire length. Stent expansion. Aim to achieve greater than or equal to 90% of the distal lumen reference area. If this is not possible, aim for an absolute MSA of 5 mm squared or greater. IVIS-123 helps clarify decisions, reduce complications, and improve efficiency. Backed by evidence, reproducible and as simple as 123.